Hello there guys, my name is Jogan B Dwarf and welcome back to another Spotlight video. So I've been scouring the workshop and have come across something awesome, something that I wish to aim to create myself in the future. This is a build by Serg. Um, the link will be in the description below for this build and it is called the UDS. It is a unit dropship. It's it's a simple name, but this thing is nowhere near simple. This thing is complicated to shit and as you can see it looks absolutely beautiful and it's just freaking sweet now it takes the same sort of undercarriage as what I had on the Redeemer but as you can tell it's like 50 times the size so this thing is just an absolute beast and we need to get straight into this so this ship supports a VTOL system again like what I wanted to produce on my Redeemer and uh, it supports these really nice long reaching legs that reach down and they're very well placed in all fairness to support the main engines which there's like four on each which is stupid amounts of power but this thing is quite fat so it needs it and um, we then have like uh, small little drones that look like they could they could peer off as like a uh, little scouting drones attached to the side which is just brilliant because Imagine that, you want to just release one of those things and let them go venturing out into the unknown. It'd be absolutely awesome. There are some exposed reactors, but uh, it looks nice either way with the industrial look of this. And it just, I, I, the, the ribs and stuff in it just look gorgeous. This is something I am going to aim to build. Something of the same sort of caliber. Now it does use a lot of the same mods, which is really cool. Hey, there's a game. And it's just an absolutely beautiful ship. So we're going to get inside it because this thing has a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of features. So what we're going to do first is we're going to jump onto this little ramp here. And yes, it does do exactly what you think it does. That's right. It takes me up. But check out this. The lights, when I reach these sensors, it turns them to green and turns those ones off red. And when I go back down, it turns them back to red and green, green to red. Yeah, so it's, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Now... I am being messaged, but uh, I'll ignore that. There are buttons on this um, that, uh, by the looks of it, turn on and off the outside um, system, which is quite nice to know. Um, I think those are for the cargo things at the back. Let's have a look. If I go K, what's it called? Oh, they're for the rotors. Um, I don't think I should be playing with them. Um, yeah, turn that one off. Turn that one off. Okay, and what does that do? Um, oh, it's a trap door. Oh, is that for the trap door that, that brings... Oh, right, so the pilot actually has control over that while he's here. So this is actually the gunning seat, which is quite nicely placed. Now, do we actually have guns on? Um, this, uh, scroll through them. Wow, he's actually given us so much control over this ship. It's unbelievable. Gee. So by the looks of it, he hasn't got the weapons on any of these menus so I'm just gonna stick it on somewhere I'll stick it on the end of this one there we go and go nine so there we go so we have some gun access which is really nice to know um, really nice to see that he's actually incorporated the windows and things to wrap around this and they are fully conveyable as you can see it just looks really really beautiful so let's move on into the back of the ship so we'll go on to the underbelly of the ship first now this is the underbelly this is where a lot of the cargo containers are, some really nice lighting is, and a lot, a lot of gyroscopes. So I think it looks really nice in all fairness with all these gyroscopes, but I think he may have started to run out of space for certain things, um, finding space for all of these gyroscopes to go in. But uh, this does actually have a censored system, I believe, um, when in flight or when landed, I'm unsure, because what this does have is a system where the lights will lighten up. I think it's when these doors are open. So that's that's what happens down here, and basically that's the trap door that folds out and allows you know you to get a ship in. And it does actually have the pickers, which will basically come down, pick up the ship, bring it inside the ship, and at least take it away. Now you do have the um, crew quarters area as such. Um, we can open the back door. Um, I have had a bit of a play around with this ship before. I've actually uh, you know gone to show you guys because I figured it needed it. So you can actually drop out your troops at the back of the ship. Now they will have to fall a bit of a ways to get, you know, out. But uh, it's not that far. It's it's the distance is minimal. Um, we'll close that again. I think. T. Oh, did I already hit it? Ooh. 
Um, there we go. So that's coming back up now. As you can see, it's actually incorporated like a nice stairway system, which is beautiful. Um, what's this do? I'm unsure what this button actually does. Um, oh, it's the door. Um, what? Oh, it's that door down there. Check that out. I never noticed that before. Look at that. There's a little door there that shuts. Oh, oh. Okay. I'll be careful with that. Those are the pickers that come down. Um, that opens the bottom door, which interlocks really nicely. I need to try that for myself, but it takes a lot. Now that has obviously hit the hit the bottom, so it can't go any further. What does this do? What does that actually do? Lift pads unlock. Oh, okay, so those allow you to unlock the lift pads and do whatever. So up here, what do we have up here? We have the engine area and just some general cargo containers all conveyed up, which is nice. So it's actually just put a bit of storage up here because there's not enough room to put anything serious up there. Now, if we come back through this door that allows us to open, we can actually go around here, around the back, and up here, which takes us up to the main sort of, oh, if I can actually get up here. It's a bit buggy with the uh, hitboxes. You can actually see over what is going on down there, which is really, really nice to know. And we've got this nice, nice, nice lit up area with lots of windows for you know visibility. And then we have this sort of crew area where we can, you know, sit and, and do all the general business. Um, I'm not sure what this button actually does. And I'm not sure how to click on it. Because uh, you can't actually... Oh, here we go. What, what do you do? Oh, okay. So it's just a reactors button. So it turns the reactors on and off. So we'll actually fly this, I think, and maybe try and crash it. So, um, that turns the thrusters on. There we go. Four unlocks us. Um, four definitely does unlock us. Um, three brings those up. Two rotates them. Oh, wow. Look at this go. Um, can I turn broadcasting off? And that fires these off, allowing us to move. Oh my god, a bit top heavy, but um, it works really well actually. So, again, very, very slow, but with the extra thrust, it, it runs pretty smoothly. Wow, check this out. And this map is brilliant as well, because it's actually put it in scenarios. And uh, this is the main issue I come across with VTOLs. Uh, <laughs> you can break them very, very easily, and they're very, very touchy. So, uh,. This has been the, uh, <laughs> oh my god, the unit dropship by Serg. Um, if you guys have enjoyed this, uh, then please don't be afraid to leave a like, favorite, and of course subscribe for more. The link will be in the description below, so feel free to check it out for yourself and break it like I have. I'm getting all red lights now, oh my god, um, and it's dropped through this hatch to get out. And I'll leave that to drift off into space. So it's still a bit touchy, and it still has the common problems of a normal ship with rotors so uh, nothing's perfect right so overall the ship is just brilliant so if you guys have enjoyed this video then please like favorite and of course subscribe for more don't forget to leave any sort of comments um, things you'd like to see what things you'd like to see off on this ship that will go into some of my new ships and uh, I'll see you guys later peace